Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Ashley Skeva. Jeff Kanata is up at GDC checking out all the latest in video games. So for now, let's hit the headlines. Sony is generating a lot of buzz at South by Southwest in Austin right now after unveiling some of its future lab. The Future Lab R&D division was announced earlier this month, and now we're starting to see glimpses of projects from the high-tech think tank. One project, nicknamed N, is described as a hands-free UI that can deliver audio information like music and other sounds through a device worn around the neck. Another prototype, Interactive Tabletop, is a projector that transforms a surface into a fully interactive experience. There aren't plans to bring these specific projects to a retail market, but there's a high likelihood we'll see these types of technology integrated into future Sony products. Okay, everybody, start warning your friends and family that you're scared is going to get addicted to VR because now there's a social network in virtual reality. VTime launched its alpha build last November for headsets like Oculus Rift and the Samsung Gear VR, but now it's officially available for the cheapest VR headset around, Google Cardboard. You'll be able to make a virtual avatar and chat in random locations with up to three of your virtual friends. VTime has over 10,000 users already and will expand its service to every VR platform, including PlayStation VR, by the end of this year. All I'm saying is maybe read Snow Crash before you get really into this idea. It's just, just a suggestion. Okay, so since Jeff isn't here, I get to pick which story we talk about on Thursday. So I'm going to go with virtual reality social networks because this seems like a really dangerous but also exciting idea. And it might not be quite as amazing as we make it out to be in our heads when we first think about it. Uh, if you guys want to get in on the conversation, use the hashtag HeyTD on Twitter. And if we like your tweets, we'll include them on the show on Thursday, which is our long episode. All right, guys, let's check out our photographer of the day. Our photographer of the day today is Andrew, who took this amazing photo with his iPhone 5S. He says, hi guys, my name is Andrew. I know I've been sending these photos repeatedly, but it's because I just need some love. These pictures were taken on my iPhone 5S in Pickens, South Carolina at Table Rock Park while enjoying a hike on the trails. I really enjoy the show and I'm always excited to see the new episodes every day when we watch your shows in class. Thank you guys for all you do. Of course, you have permission to use the pictures on the show and as always, be good humans. Here's your love, Andrew. Here it is for you. We're handing it to you through the computer. Just take it. There's your love. If you want some love with your photography, you can send it over to us to be considered for featuring on the show. Tomorrow at CNET.com is the email. Send your picture. Give us permission. And also tell us a story because we love stories. You can also find us all over social media at Tomorrow Daily. And of course, make sure you share the show with somebody you like or don't like. Either way, just share it with somebody. TomorrowDaily.com is the place to do that. Find us on social media individually, and we will be back tomorrow, or I'll be back tomorrow with producer Logan with a brand new docket of weird, wonderful science fact meeting science fiction. But until then, be good humans. See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>